Dream magazine picturing today and tomorrow. It's London's Tin Pan Alley, birthplace of melodies which have kept Britain singing in good times and in bad. Just 60 yards of plate glass windows behind which a million new songs have been heard. It's a friendly street with each house, each paving stone, a rendezvous. Johnny Johnson, leader of the keynotes, holds highway conference with songwriter Tommy Connor, while old-timer Harry Davidson, song by Dick Royal and the Beverly Sisters, are hot on the trail of a new song. Here's Jimmy Campbell with Eddie Standry and Dave Topp with Pat Halpin. Lawrence Wright, known to most as Horatio Nichols, what a wealth of memories in the heart of one man. Showing his old triumphs to Henry Hall is the daddy of Tin Pan Alley, whose songs have touched with sunshine and melody the home life of a nation. And here's Pat Kirkwood. It's a tradition of Tin Pan Alley, that ever-opening door. Word has gone round that there are new songs to be tried. Fresh from her recent stage successes, Pat swaps the latest footlight gossip before talking of new songs. A tune or so hum, then a session in the audition rooms outside. All the colour of theatre land is in their exit as they leave the stage clear for Carol Lynn. Recognise them? Anne Shelton. Troy's Billy Tennant, Lou Stone, as they listen to the five Smith brothers. They only told me we were funny. And they won't come alive. That one brought you to me. I was not alive. How could I have been in a car? Bill Phillips with band leader Joe Loss. This tune's quite the thing south of the border. In the bay, I pulled it in and opened it up, and much to my surprise, oh, I discovered it right before my eyes. Oh, I discovered it. From Joe Loss to band leader Mantovani. From pianist Norman Stanfelt to, yes, Vera Lynn and Les Paul. In the room next door, Felix Mendelssohn, without his hula hula girls, talks over a new number with stagecoach composer Eric Winston at the piano. Close by, Petula Clark rehearses with Joe Henderson. Now a song is born. You love me, just hold me close and then give me last night's kisses again. I like that, Sam. I think it's great. 
Peter? Publisher Peter Maurice with Jimmy Phillips is quick to recognize a new hit. All must come up and listen. Right away. I want them to hear this song. Yes. Uh, Mr. Phillips, some of the others are here, too. Oh, well, send them all in. I want them to hear this song. All right, I will. Geraldo, Billy Cotton, Doreen Stevens and Jill Allen, Vicky Otier, Terry the Irish Minstrel, Benny Lee and the rest. You will see them all drift in as Jimmy Kennedy's latest musical number comes to life through the magic fingers of Ray Hartley and the voice of Sam Brown. Hold me that I love you Last night's kisses Did they mean that to you? Tell me, darling Just how can it be That kisses from you Without even a glamorized rapper to hide it from critical eyes, it passes into the hands of the arrangers, there to be nursed and weaned and built into a fully orchestrated song. Its expectation of life in the old days would have been 12 months, but in these days of canned music, it will reach its dotage after three. First the birth, then the memory of a song. 